lovelies and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul slash review for you guys. This is also part of my birthday series. If you haven't checked out any of the previous videos in that series, then I will link those up above for you guys as well as in the description box down below. So make sure to check those out. So today I will give you my opinion on Lily Silk. I have been seeing this brand everywhere. I'm not sponsored whatsoever. I will of course give you guys my 100% honest review. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week, sometimes multiple times a week, so trust me, you don't want to miss out. With that being said, let's jump straight into the review. So, spoiler alert, I was not too impressed. So my husband and I both got things from Lily Sill and he really liked his items. I think he kept all of his items. I ordered, I think five items and kept one. Let's start with this big box right here. And um, keep in mind, I'm, I will be returning all of these. So you open it up and this is just for, I guess the cashmere sweaters. Um, I have been wanting a cashmere sweater for the longest time. And all I wanted was a V-neck cashmere sweater. And there happened to be one on Lily Silk. And the reason why I finally um, jumped the gun and went on Lily Silk was because they were having like a Women's Day sale um, or a spring sale, something like that. And so I was like, might as well try it out. And every influencer out there has been promoting Lily Silk. So I was like, okay, all of these people can't you know be lying when they say they absolutely love it so the first item is the cashmere sweater and it is uh, this one very plain very just very very basic cashmere sweater when i thought of a cashmere sweater i thought it would be like really really soft and i have felt cashmere sweaters like in store and this one especially when i wore it was a bit itchy and um, I'm, I've mentioned this in previous videos, my skin is very, very sensitive. And if it's even the slightest bit itchy or like scratchy, I can't wear it. I just can't wear it. Like, I don't know, it, it just completely messes with my skin. And I just, the feeling doesn't go away throughout the day. Like, it's just like, I always feel it. And so I knew I wouldn't wear this which is a real bummer because I always wanted cashmere um it's supposed to be like very thin and warm and all of that but I mean it looked fine it looks fine it, it's a little loose which I don't mind that was totally fine but it was the fact that it was a bit scratchy and when you think of cashmere you don't think of it as, as scratchy and I looked it up and it said that some cashmere sweaters can be scratchy and they get softer the more you wash them or something um but I did feel cashmere sweaters before, like in store and stuff, and they felt a lot softer than this. So I don't know if it's just just this sweater. I don't know if it was just the items that were on sale that weren't as, which I will come back to because anyways. So I, I just don't know. This just was not worth it, in my opinion, to pay that much money for me to just not wear it, you know? So it's going back. I think from now on, if I were to get cashmere or any kind of sweater, I should say, um, I should probably try it on in store. Oh, this is the silk shirt that my husband is returning. I thought it was too shiny for him. Other than that, I mean, it fit great and all that, but uh, he just didn't like the shininess. <laughs> and I was like, what did you expect? It's silk. But he did get some silk knit sweaters which were they felt amazing they felt way better than the cashmere sweater so if you're interested i would check those out instead so we have this silk t-shirt i think it's called i don't have the names of any of this on here but this is just the silk shirt this is just very very plain very basic and i got it in the navy blue color and you can see it's a little longer in the back than it is in the front and it has a one button closure in the back and it's just i think this was like 89 dollars for this and i don't know i mean it, it was nice it was soft but it, i don't know i feel like i've felt satin shirts that were softer than this and this is supposed to be mulberry silk is what they say and it's mulberry silk is supposed to be like the best of best and i just 
I wasn't that impressed by it. I think the main thing was just the style of the shirt itself. It was just, I knew it was plain, but it was just like, I don't know, it just didn't suit me. I didn't really like the neckline on me. It's just like a regular circle neck. Um, so this one's going back because again, if I know I'm not going to wear it, why keep it? But that is one thing that I like is that you have the opportunity to return items that you're not happy with. So that was a relief. This next item was this silk wrap dress. And this silk feels very different to that silk shirt. I think this has a lot more like spandex or elastane or something in it to make it really, really stretchy. Um, and this is literally like an open wrap dress. So um, I would definitely wear like shorts or something under this because I have worn a wrap dress before and the wind just blew it right on up and I flashed everyone in that city. This is a wrap dress, as I said, and wrap dresses are typically very, very flattering, um, especially because you can like tie it right at your smallest point of your waist and all that and I really liked the color I don't really have anything this color um, this is like a, a darker wine red this is like the red that I usually go for like a really bright red which I love but um, my husband really liked this color and he was like try it out and um, in person I don't know I'm not the biggest fan of this red I don't know if it suits me very well but the main reason was because this fabric is so slinky that you can see every single lump and bump that you have like all of your little rolls and little tummy pooch everything you can see clearly in this dress and um, I did not want that so again like this felt really nice on and I loved the design of the dress and all that is just I, I want to be able to eat comfortably when I wear clothes um, and not have to suck it in. And those three items that I just showed you, I actually got from the 20% off sale. And surprisingly, those were the three that I did not like. There was another item that I got, which I'll put a picture up here somewhere, and it's actually from Amazon. And it was a black collared silk shirt with little white pearl buttons. And I loved the shirt. It even felt really, really nice. I think that silk was the best silk out of all of the silk items that I just showed you. But the pearl buttons would not stay closed. And it wasn't, the shirt wasn't too tight or anything. It was like, it was even a little bit loose, if anything. But as soon as I move even a little bit, like the button just like falls out. And I'm, before you know it, like the button, the shirt is just open, uh, which is not ideal when wearing a shirt, obviously. And it, it just didn't, tuck in well even when I tried to tuck it in the buttons would just start opening by itself the same thing with that um first shirt the blue silk shirt that I showed you um it just didn't tuck in very well and I've started tucking in my shirts lately and it's just uh it didn't look flattering untucked or tucked in my opinion but anyways um so that one was from Amazon and I had or I already returned that one because I was like okay it's not gonna work because I, I just wanted a regular black collared shirt like as a basic and I can't have one that keeps opening up I did find one from Express um, I'll link that video like I said um, that one was far better far more affordable then I did get one more item but this was not part of the sale and this is the only item that I liked out of the what five items that I got from Lily Silk and it is this beautiful silk shirt dress. I have recently discovered the beauty of shirt dresses. They are so flattering. Um, I recently got one from Aritzia. Again, I will link that video down below. If you're like really self-conscious about your body, I would definitely suggest that you try a shirt dress on because you kind of look very, you know, put together and it just, um, this was not clingy. So any lumps or bumps, it just, you know, smoothed any of that out and it's kind of flared at the bottom which i love and the cuffs as you can see have a little button closure and then this goes about halfway the buttons and we have collars and fake pockets right here which i don't know why they added that but i don't mind it so it does kind of flare out from the waist which is very flattering and the part that I love the most is that it came with a belt. And typically, I'm not like the biggest fan of um, the belts that come with clothing items. You know, they don't always give you the best belts. But 
this one I liked because it has like this little closure here that you can just snap it closed and then you can actually adjust this according to your waist size and whatever um, outfit that you're wearing you can literally just pull and adjust which I love. I love adjustable things, adjustable belts, reversible belts, anything like that. I wish this was reversible. This would have been really nice if I had the brown version as well. This one was the most expensive item that I got, I think. I think this was like 139, 159, something like that, mainly because it was not part of the sale. So like I said, I don't know if the sale items were items that they were just trying to get rid of or their least popular stuff. I have no idea. I just probably wouldn't buy anything that's on sale. Um, I think that's what I learned from Lily Silk. I feel like all of their less popular stuff was on sale. I may order again from Lily Silk, mainly because of their return policy. Like you can return it. My All my stuff still had like tags on it and everything and you have to get approved first before you can return the stuff. But I haven't returned these items yet. So I'll let you know probably like in my Instagram or in the description box below how the return went like if they gave me any trouble later on but um so far they seemed to be rather understanding um and gave us like a return label and all that i think the only other thing that i would probably personally buy from lily silk would be like the silk knit shirts um and sweaters because my husband's silk knit sweaters that he got from lily silk felt so wonderful so i kind of want one for myself so we'll see we'll see if there will be another lily silk haul in the future but for now um i am good with this silk dress because again these are not cheap items and if i'm paying that much for an item i want it to be near perfect i know everything can't be perfect perfect but as close to perfect as possible so that was my honest opinion on Lily Silk. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out those other videos in my birthday series. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.